Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Don't ever try to force it to make sense. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, travel, moving, anything you could ask about. Mondays are a different style every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what that's all about. And just a reminder, I'm reading the energy of the cards, but you all have free will. So the tarot is your best friend that tells you the truth. If you see a reading or you see energy, you can course correct. That's the beauty of it. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the Ten of Swords. The Page of Swords. Oh dear, the Two of Swords. The High Priestess. The Page of Cups. The Magician. Very interesting. The Page of Wands and the Devil. Well, I'm telling you, the truth is going to come out. Now, we have 78 cards here. We have one, two. These two will not be deceived, all right? And so with this, I do feel like you've got an ending but it leads to a new beginning. And I also feel like it's going to really lighten up the energy around you, especially when we bring in these two. They're two of my favorite pages, the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. These two raise hell together. I mean, they're a lot of fun, um, but I just feel like I said, like it's really going to lighten up your energy, whatever this is, whatever is going on here. So with this, it's almost like this tells a story right here, okay? With the Magician, again, He's not stage magic. He's magic with a K. He gets rid of illusions. And with the high priestess, she's the card of the psychic, but she's also very intelligent. She kind of sits and watches, takes things in, and more will be revealed, I'm telling you. But I do feel like it delivers you into those two pages, which is going to be a ton of fun. It's going to bring a lot lighter energy. So for some of you, it may be a job change, and boy, will that be a welcome change. Whatever it is, it is a welcome change, I'll tell you that. With this Ten of Swords, this is one of the cards that um, causes some readers not to use this deck because they don't like this. It's a very dramatic way of saying something's done. Now, if you broke it off with somebody or if you had a falling out with somebody, this also could be their energy. Talk about a martyr, Jesus. And if that's the case, I just don't see you pushing the pause button to pick them back up off the ground. I feel like it's way overdone, okay, if that's the case. Now, and it feels more like a friend or a relative. It feels like something like that where somebody's really used to using those. Um, Carolyn Mace calls it a woundologist. They're used to using those wounds as a social currency to get sympathy off of people. I just, like I said, I don't feel like you're going to be giving it to them if that's around you. You might find you don't have too much patience for it. But again, with those two pages coming around the bend, you're not, you have other things to be doing too. So if it's a job that ended and you're feeling this and you're saying, no, I really did get betrayed. I got stabbed right in the back by somebody. Hey, guess what? You're going to have new opportunities. You do have three pages. I didn't mean to leave out the page of swords um, with this, but with this page of swords, you can, you won't, you'll see it coming the next time with this. It's that energy, especially if it's somebody, now if it was a relationship that ended and they come back around, it doesn't matter if it's a love relationship or again, that friendship that first came back around. Um, with this, 
he stands looking over his shoulder. He stands and he's vigilant. He's a bit guarded. So I just don't see you running back into somebody's arms who double-crossed you. But with this page of swords, it's also about you doing your research. So anything that you move forward into, you're going to be taking, you know, taking some stock and things, vetting some people, maybe a little more carefully if it's a job too. I do feel like with this, um, you have a new opportunity opening up here. Now, some of you too, if it's even dating online, I still feel like you're going to bet whoever is out there, you're not going to go meet somebody at their apartment for the first time. Not in this energy and good for you too, by the way. We know that a lot of bad things can happen doing things like that. Not to blame anyone, but safety, safety always first. So with this page of swords, he is the internet spy. So if you did have an ending, you might find that it's either you or the other person who kind of dabbles in keeping tabs on the situation, just wanting to know just for the sake of knowing. But I don't see you reconnecting with anybody that ended things or that you that you had a falling out with. Not right now, at least. It doesn't mean it wouldn't happen in the future. But I just feel like if it's something toxic, you're not going to go back to it. I just don't see you taking another swing at it. You got new stuff coming in. So with this two of swords, it's still a gridlock. Twos are about partnerships and those slanted swords are not a good indication. They, the bottom sword is fear, the top sword is anger, okay? And so, you know, one of the things, the, the ways to healing is one of the most unreasonable unre ideas that we could come up with and that's forgiveness. But it's not coming from the mind, it's on the soul level. It's going down deep. And so some of you may say, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in deep. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to ask to have this removed and remove every bit of this, whatever my self-concept is tied to in this situation. Please remove it. And that way you can walk free of this. And, and if it's the other person, you say, no, they're stubborn as a goat and they won't budge. Again, I don't see you trying to engage them. I just don't see you even messing around with it. Um, so with this, it may be a bit of an emotional time. And especially if you had a lot of contact with that person because there's an energy that's moved away. But nature abhors a vacuum. So that energy that's moved away will be replaced. And what you're going to attract with the magician and the high priestess is going to be high vibrational stuff. You just wait and see here. So we've got another two. I mentioned these are about partnerships. And she's interesting because... She does do some things in solitude, but it's not, you know, it's an unbothered energy. She likes to be in solitude. Uh, you've got Taurus Capricorn here. You've got water, air, uh, quite a bit of air and fire. So with this energy of the high priestess, she's got four different moons that appear in the card. It's a very layered card. And so it's a new cycle. You have the moon and the two of swords. And I do see you as just moving on. I just don't see you... Um, you know, wanting to open that up right now, especially with this, she would not go diving back into a conflict. This is not a codependent energy. Now, this is, okay, the devil's very codependent. The high priestess, absolutely not. Um, so with this, it's all about staying true to yourself. And it really, truly has to do with not betraying yourself in some regard. Um, and, and I say that and it's like, what, what exactly does that mean when we say to thine own self be true? There's a great exercise that anyone can do. You list off all the good things that you've ever done in your life. And I know some of you are already going, that's impossible. I've done so many. Well, then list off the five or six times you've betrayed yourself. That's usually pretty easy. So with this, you won't tip your toe back into the betrayal waters. You will not do it, I'm telling you. And it won't bother you. There's some spiritual change going on here. It's almost like a spiritual awakening where you know it's just time to move on. And so this is law of attraction energy. Her gown turns to water. She represents the subconscious. The magician represents the conscious mind. And together... They create, they create the empress, which we don't have here, which would have been nice, but the, the empress is a multiplier of form and ideas, and it's also love. So with this, secrets are going to come out, and like I said, I just don't see you going back for more, but this is also your guides speaking to you. When this starts showing up, it's they're speaking to you and say, trust your instincts, Sagittarius. You've got these two lotus flowers at the top of the columns that represents balance and trust and security. 
You are in a new beginning. You're about to enter into an awakening and a new beginning. And I don't see you looking back. So if it is a relationship, not only do you have the strength and the trust and the real deep connection of the high priestess, but you also have this fun new energy of the Page of Cups. Now, this Page of Cups, is a, it's a law of attraction energy, much like the High Priestess. Um, but with this Page of Cups, it brings out a lot of fun. It's spontaneity, it's creativity, it's love, very kind energy. This is not somebody who offends other people at all. And so if you meet somebody new, you may find you immediately click with them and you say, you're right. Nature does a pour vacuum. I'm already filling it up with the page of cups and other fun energy people. And so with this, if it is a job, I feel like right away you're going to feel at home. Whatever it is that has stopped happening with that Ten of Swords, you have a replacement that comes in that's so much better. And with this too, it's straight from the heart. This is a very, it is an emotional energy, but it's very pure. Okay, so when this page appears, it says you've got a new energy coming into your life and it has to do with love. So the page of wands is like your best friend, uh, your best friend that stands at the finish line of a race holding a poster with your name on it. This is the kind of energy where you say, I feel so supported around this person. They are like almost relentlessly positive. And it also could be you too. You get into that energy of a new beginning and it amps you up with this. You say there's a thrill in the air and I absolutely love it. There's no way I'm going back to the bleak and blackness of that Ten of Swords. Absolutely not. With this, you move forward. And of course, we know one of the greatest transformers in the deck the magician comes in to say anything you want is available. It's bringing heaven to earth. It is manifesting. You see all these, the gardens are the cultivation of the garden of your mind. So in a new relationship, it is rock solid. You have great communication, finances, love, and passion. There's no downside to this. And so last but never least, this devil energy, I feel they're telling you it's the end of a toxic cycle. The black in the card is ignorance and with the high priestess the universe's hand is about to come in and turn the lights on bright on this one so i just don't see you going back for more you have something new coming in and it's bountiful it's much lighter energy it's a lot it's fun like i said it's fun but there's going to be especially in the job opportunities for more and i feel like some autonomy too where you have more freedom if you're very restricted in a job, I just don't see that. Or if you had somebody, especially with the devil, who was double checking everything and almost trying to catch mistakes, I just don't see you continuing in that. So, all right, let's go here. Sorry, I talked a bit long. Exciting reading. Ask your angels. We said in the high priestess, they're trying to communicate with you. Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are the universe communicating. No need to worry. Things are moving forward. Take action, and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.